We're tasting at uh, Climas, the 2009, with Thomas and Christian again. Um, and uh, Berenice Lurton uh, is very kindly having us taste from all the barrels. Uh, Berenice, how do you find the wines today? This is the 2009. Huh? How do you find the wines today? Uh, it's quite funny because I thought all the first lots were absolutely lovely and showing beautifully, very lively, very uh, full of light. And the others, uh, in the middle, they're uh, a little more difficult to understand today, mm -hmm. they're beautiful. But All the lots from the middle of the harvest, then? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, they were absolutely wonderful uh, uh, the days before and today. They, they don't know where they are. <laughs> they're not sweat, singing. Sweat. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, but I, I find the last one very... Very lovely. Yeah, me too. So, the final, yes. final lot. That's the final picking of the second, uh, it's lot number 12, that's the final picking, eh? the last uh, day? No, the 13 is the last, uh, oh, okay. the, the oh. last day of the very big picking. Okay, but this is at the end of the harvest, then? Eh? Yes. Right, yeah. But uh, anyway, so it changes from day to day? Yes, uh, all the time. From uh, morning to afternoon, sometimes from hour to hour, <laughs> yeah, according to the weather, to the moon, to I don't know what, <laughs> so they are changing all the time, they are quite difficult to follow. But sometimes people say this is uh, us who are changing, but in fact we're all finding the same thing, so maybe it really is the wines that are changing. Um, it is definitely the wine that is changing, mm -hmm. I'm sure of it, and I was discussing about that with somebody who told me I, that uh, she finds that Clémence is the most, um, is the wine in the southern region which is the most, uh, how do you say, um, uh, which changes a lot with the weather. Yes, pressure. With the pressure, etc. Very, very sensitive wines mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Anyway, lovely vintage. Thomas, what do you think? Oh, it's, uh, Clemence is always my preferred uh, Sautern cru uh, because I love the power of Clemence and the, the elegance and uh, I think this is a vintage to follow on Clemence because uh, it's very, very, uh, yeah, it has, has a big corpus and uh, it's a uh, wonderful dynamic uh, tension in it and uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, I, I would prefer it uh, personally to Ikan, so. There we go, that says all. <laughs> well, don't tell Berenice. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm never <laughs> And Christian. I was not so amateur. I will follow the wines, and I think it's very interesting how you can make such different wines from one harvest. Yes, it's, it's fascinating, isn't it? But overall, very uh, good impression. I think we'll. A lot of uh, power and acidity, these wines, and I hope they will last. I'm sure they will. Thank you, Christian.